busy physician Jacob Benchuf relied on four-hoofed transit. Not yet, too, was tiny Rene Alary. The evening of August 13, 1907, she played in her South Park backyard as her mother focused on her four-month-old sister. The tot opened a gate and toddled into the road, where returning to Seattle was a Route 5 streetcar. The conductor and motorman, not yet aboard, ran to catch the car, but its fender knocked Renee down, and she was seriously injured. Fortunately, she regained consciousness while resting at a neighbor's home, where she recognized her mom. Dr. J. A. Benchuf, the attending physician, believes she has a good chance to recover, reported the Seattle Times. With automobiles a blossoming curiosity, the phrase attending physician painted a rustic picture 115 years ago. The doctor, Jacob Andrew Benchuf, 1882 to 1979, who began work in South Park two years earlier, reached a wide swath of patients, including uphill in Forested White Center, where he was the district's first doctor, via horse. I would start out for some cabin in the woods in the morning, and by the time I got there, a neighbor might have sent for me to come on another two or three miles farther to their home, Benchuf told the Times in 1955 on his 50th anniversary of practice. I'd go out to some tent or cabin in the timber to care for a woman in childbirth or a man who had been hit by a timber or caught in a saw or shot. Things happened in the timber country in those days. Born and raised in Iowa and trained in St. Louis, the busy Benchuf served as surgeon for the long gone Meadows racetrack south of Georgetown and as Seattle medical examiner. He also joined the early staff of Providence Hospital and established offices downtown. And he acquired a car. He placed a 1910 Times ad to sell his, quote, buggy horse and saddle, sound and gentle, new buggy and harness, end quote. But while building a family and becoming known as a prolific deliverer of babies, he never lost his early reputation for four-hoofed service, carrying a medical kit and rifle while riding or driving an ex-racehorse named Mabel Payne. Two days after Rene Allery's streetcar accident, the Times reported that another South Park girl, Helen Taylor, seven, visited a neighbor's home to get milk. The neighbor's chained bulldog startled the girl and bit her as she fell into a hole. A key part of the report? Dr. J. A. Benchuf dressed the wounds and the little girl was removed to her home where she is now resting easily. In our first then photo, his buggy pulled by a former racehorse, Mabel Payne, Dr. Jacob Benchuf pauses in 1905 on Hilly Madison Street at Fifth Avenue, backed by Providence Hospital, which operated there in various incarnations from 1877 to 1911. There were few hospitals then, Benchuf reflected, circa 1976, and it took forever to get to a real hospital such as Providence. Our second then photo is a portrait of Jacob Benchuf, likely in 1905, when he graduated from Barnes University in St. Louis. In our third then photo, Dr. Jacob Benchuf is shown circa 1915 with family. From left, son Alan, daughters Helen and Thelma, wife Neoma, and daughters Geraldine and Genevieve. Today, at the former Providence Hospital site, a dozen relatives of Dr. Jacob Benchuf stand next to the 2004 downtown Seattle Public Library and before the 1940 William Kenzo Nakamura U.S. Courthouse for the Ninth Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals at the northwest corner of Fifth and Madison. They are, from left, Eric Sprunk, Blair Sprunk, Jill Ashley, Jeff Ashley, Joel Rosas, Blythe Clays, Bill Benchuf, Dina Skeels, Dylan Skeels, Chris Foster, Bob Benchuf, 
and Bob Foster.